So we are here in Vis, Croatia, and I am here with Goran, who is the tour coordinator for our cruise with Adventures Croatia, and he's going to give us some brief history of this winery. Oh, there we go. This is a really unique place on the island of Vis, uh, one of the rare wineries, and I would say even the only one, as far as I know, that is located in the former ex-Yugoslav uh, military tunnel. Uh, so it used to be the use for the first power plant on the island of Vis, uh, with the big generators inside. And I have uh, for the last 150 years actually uh, with the tradition of the family that they are producing the, the wine. There is one indigenous sort of grape on the island of Vis, it's called Vugava. It's a really distinct white wine. So definitely if you st ever step a foot on this island, uh, please come here in the winery Lipanovic and uh, try uh, some of their wine. Now before we visit the church and monastery, ancient Roman ruins, and the city cemetery, I'd like to thank my sponsor, Adventures Croatia, for sponsoring this video and all of my Croatia videos as I travel around Croatia with them. Adventures Croatia is the leading tour operator specializing in travel to Croatia and surrounding countries. They cater to American tourists and are rated five stars on both TripAdvisor and Trustpilot. You can go to their website, adventurescroatia.com for more information. There's a link to the website in the video description. If you mention my promo code AndyAwesome10 when speaking with Adventures Croatia, you'll get 10% off any trip you book with them. This is a church in Vis, and over here is the monastery, which I don't know if we can go in or not. Here we go, we have a church bells from the Franciscan monastery going back 400 years ago. And uh, what is unique about we are on a small little uh, peninsula today. So this is where the Greeks first settled in the island of Vis. Uh, Romans, as we mentioned earlier, took over. And uh, by the way, the Franciscan monastery from the 16th century was built from the foundations of this Roman uh, theater that we are able to see. So this was a part of the reconstruction of the old Roman uh, amphitheater that was located right here on this place. Today is a part of the Franciscan monastery. Unfortunately, it's considered as a you know church property, so we're not allowed to enter, uh, but it's still active, as but, but you can see by the church bells. We're going to climb over the wall and get in, right? We, there is a hole in the wall, yes. Yeah, it's a hole in the wall, okay. Okay. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is the one of the unique places also in the town of Vis. You can, you can just walk uh, through and this is part of the old Roman uh, Terme that is uh, going back in the first century AD, so uh, literally 2000 years ago. And there are some great examples of the Roman mosaics uh, down there. So the island of Vis, as a matter of fact, was inhabited by the, by the Greeks. This was one of the first colony that they call it Issa and after the Greeks uh, left actually Romans came so there is quite a few artifacts from that uh, period. Here we are ladies and gentlemen believe it or not on a very interesting place and that's a cemetery yes uh, so people in Croatia are buried like in a family gravesite there's a reason you can see the word obite on every uh, single gravesite so this is the one uh, which goes back uh, during the Second World War time, so there was a couple of warriors because Island of Vis, besides this long history going back from Greek times, it was also very, very uh, interesting point and, uh, during the Second World War. And this is where the partisans and Tito was hiding uh, during that place. So this was the only place which never had been occupied by the Nazis, as a matter of fact. So we had the Royal Air Forces, even some American fighters. So there is a lot of aeroplanes uh, sank in, uh, during the Second World War around the island of Vis. And of course, unfortunately, a lot of people lost their life. So this is one of the cemeteries from uh, one of the local families dedicated uh, to those uh, partisans during the Second World War. And we can see the star underneath, which actually was representing the former Yugoslavia.